here we can see this is a phasor diagram showing v is equal to vm at an angle of phi and i is equal to im at an angle of minus theta now these phasors are given in polar form this is called as polar form the voltage and current this is an instantaneous voltage and this is an instantaneous current these are given in polar form now here we can see this is a complex plane the real axis and imaginary axis forms a complex plane so this is a complex plane and here this is a phasor this is a phasor of v is equal to vm at an angle phi and this is a phasor of i is equal to im at an angle of minus theta now here we can see the phasor rotates in counter clockwise direction or we can say anti clockwise direction means opposite to the direction of clock that is called as anti clockwise direction so this direction is called as leading direction and this clockwise direction is called as lagging direction now here we can see if the phase angle is positive that time it it represents leading phase difference and when the phase angle is negative that time it represents lagging phase difference so here we can see for v is equal to vm at an angle of phi so here this vm is the maximum value or amplitude and this omega represents speed of rotation it is equal to 2 pi f and here this phi is positive and here this theta is negative that means this negative means it is lagging and this positive means it is leading so v is equal to vm at an angle of phi that means first we will draw this phase angle here we can see it is positive so that's why it will be in leading direction so here and this vm vm will be the length of this phasor and here this will be vm and this will be voltage v then if we have to draw phasor diagram for i is equal to im at an angle of minus theta so here we can clearly see it is minus so that's why it will be in lagging direction and this will be maximum value or peak value of current that is im and this will be current i and this will be phase angle in negative theta so this is how we can draw phasor diagram